Hello, this episode is for Dreamweaver new user. We're gonna create a site called Basic. I have a folder called Basic Content, two Word documents, and one image. Okay, let's open up a Dreamweaver. Now let's take a look Dreamweaver user interface. Right now, I'm in Design Workspace. On the File panel, you can access to set up your site. Also, you can go to your menu site, new site, and set up your site. So my site is basic. And I'm going to find a basic folder that I create and select. So this is how you set up your local root folder. On the file panel, you see my site is basic. I have a one image and two document, Word documents. So Word document doesn't have to be here, but since I'm on the working progress, it will be easier to access to put it in there. So in case you didn't set up your site properly, you can double click on it and this panel setting your local route. Okay. Go to file new and select new. You can use the keyboard shortcut control N. So let's take a look a new document panel. So on the new document panel, the first one is new document. You can select the document type that you like. So in this episode, we're going to use new document, HTML, and framework. We're going to start with none. Okay, just create. Right now, on, if your split is not same as mine, you can go to view, and then there's a two split vertically, and make the design view on the left, or you can select that. On the design view, there's a drop down menu. You can select live or design. Title here right now because we didn't put anything, so it become untitled document. So you can just highlight here to change it, or you can go to your property panel here and just type in here basic. Then click away, you see your title become basic. So this title, the title name should be name of your website. On your design view, you see the cursor is blinking, and then I'm going to insert a div tag here. A dialog box will pop up. From here, I would like to create a class called container. So I'm going to click on new CSA rule. And on the CSS rule panel, you will see there's a four options here. So we're going to do class. On the root definition, choose where that you want to define. So right now we don't have anything attachment here. So I'm just going to do this document only. Okay. So as soon as it hit OK, the definition for container will pop up. So on here, I want to change background colors and choose a light yellow color. On the box, I want to do width 80%. Make sure find 80%. The padding I want to do 10 inch and margin I want to do zero and then click OK. The the box that we just create, right? I want this box centered. What should I do? So in this point, you can go to the CSS here, editing rule on your property panel, and then just click rule. And here you can change it. Or you can go to your designer panel and Select style and global. You'll see the container right there. In here, I want to change to auto. And here, just select auto too. Right now, it's centered. Okay, so go to your file panel, find your page two, drag this page two into the box that we just created. And then the insert document will pop up. Give you a couple of choice. You can do text only or you can text structure. So I'm just gonna use this one. Oh. This is drag and drop method on PC. If you use Mac, you have to open up Microsoft Word and copy and paste. So when you're writing content at Microsoft Word, just keep the format very simple. Otherwise, you will create lots of unnecessary text. Okay, now we can delete this extra wording here. And you can click on Live Views. On the Live View, my div selector has a container class attached. And then when you click on Web Design Principles, you will see the Heading 1. And next to Heading 1, you have a menu. Next to it, you can click on that. You can change format and make a link here. 
And if some verbiage you want to change, you can double click. The blue outline will turn to orange and then you can change from here. Of course, you can go back to design view and change from here. I'm going to save this to be P2, page 2 and save. Now I would like to create another page. I'm going to use this page as my base and bring out my DOM panel and you will see all the element selectors all in here. Now I can delete from here. It's much easier. Select it, tab, right click and delete. Okay, now I'm going to create a new div tag because my class is still there. So I can create a div now and just select from the drop down menu container and click OK. And now for the save site, I want to save as because this is going to be my home page. By default, home page will be indexed. So I'm going to save as index, drag my page one in div tag. OK. This Microsoft Word document only have a paragraph, so we need to change title to heading. Highlight this and then give it a format. You can go to HTML on your properties and then select H1. And the second one I'm going to do H2. If you go back to your live view, you can just select heading 3. After heading 3, I would like to insert an image. Just go to the second icon image and then there's a four options. I think I'm going to do after and there's only one image in there. So here, when you click on image menu pops up, I'll give it a alternative name in case the image is missing. Now I want to insert a link. I'm going to switch to design view and then you see the cursor blinking behind. Make a little space here and go to HTML insert panel, find hyperlink here. Click, they go to a2 and just select link P2. Okay. And target, we're going to select blink. You will pop up a different tab on a different page. Okay. On title, I'm going to say page two and click. Okay. Let's go back to the eye view. So go to your little globe underneath the document panel and select Firefox. So when you roll over, you will see the page two. That is the title that we put in. And then when you click, you'll go to page two. Okay, see you next time.